Today I'm going to show you a recipe for my Gravelax salmon. It's a stunning, delicious dish and my version is even better. Shall we? Start. Yes. Uh, how are the boys at the back? Are they going? They're great. Not even a wave. Nothing. Hot pan in the wood oven. Um, fennel seeds go in first and coriander seeds. What I want to do is toss these off and start to get the oils and the spices nice and fragrant and delicious. Enter a pestle and mortar. This is what they call exercise. So if you've got someone to do it for you, even better. Oh my God. You don't need to go mental, right? It doesn't need to be the finest thing ever. It just needs to be broken up to release the perfume. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, bowl, <laughs> spices into the bowl. Salt into our bowl. Some sugar. You're looking at about four oranges in an ideal world. And I've got three of them are blood oranges, which is luxury. I'm also going to have a lemon. And you can see as I'm zesting, I don't want too much pith because then I'm going to get a lot of bitter flavors. All right, blood orange gives you two things. It gives you a different color zest. It's a bit darker and bloody, but the flavor is super, super interesting. I am fucking knackered, genuinely. Do you know what I feel like? That, that, that it's like half time. Have an orange then. So what we want to do is just now mix all of this together really well. All the citrus will tend to want to clump together along with the spices. So just use your fingers and a spoon. Final little mix before we add our secret weapon. Was there any idea what the secret weapon is? Cottage cheese. No way. That's later. At Campari? Campari. It's bitter and it's sweet, right? So I'm always banging on about bitterness and using bitterness to build layers of flavor. With our fish, I went to the fishmonger and just asked for a fillet of salmon. What I want to do is just add some scores across the skin, a couple of centimeters apart. And I, I'm not going too deeply. If you have a look, I've only gone down maybe three, four mils deep. And what that does is allow the Gravelax, the salt and the sugar mix, to go inside this side of the fish. Now, cure onto our tray. And then we set our fillet on top, like that. And then we get the rest of our mix and pack it on top. The cure will naturally find its way into those cuts without you abusing it with your fingers. What we do now is the magic bit. We cover it in cling film. We put another tray on top and we put it in the fridge for 24 hours. Halfway through that time, we want to get it out, scrape all of the salt off to the side and turn it over. If you're like us, when we were in London making this in a certain three Michelin star restaurant, we used to go clubbing and then come back in the kitchen at three, four in the morning, maybe or maybe not under the influence of drugs. And we would turn our salmon before we partied on for the rest of the day. Here she is. Thank you, darling. Have a look at this. We just push back all of that salt and the sugar, and then we're gonna pop it in the water real quickly and just very gently, just press. What we wanna do is dry the water off this as soon as possible. Set that to the front for a moment. Get yourself a roll of cling film. I call it cling film, you don't call it cling film here. What do you call it here? Glad wrap. Glad wrap. Anyway, um, so I've gone one at the bottom, one at the top, one in the middle. That is more than enough. Then we're gonna get our fish and nice and dry to the touch, really important. We're gonna stick that on there. And now I have some horseradish. And this is gonna be, if you like, the glue that holds the herbs onto the fish itself. Chopped herbs. I've got um, lemon balm, lemon verbena, parsley, and fennel. You know, the fennel fronds from fennel bulbs. Use the side of your hand so as you can get the herbs to go all the way down the edges. Cling film now goes over the top, put the other side over the top, like that. And now we're gonna put a herb side down, right? 
like that and put it in the fridge to set for at least an hour. A dressing for this, you can do heaps of different stuff. I like some kind of dairy fat element to go with the Gravelax. Cottage cheese, when you blend it, turns into this amazing, smooth, silky, delicious thing. Our salt component is gonna be white soy. I'm putting a whole lemon in here, so it's got, I want it to be sharp. All right, lid on. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Nothing. All right. Yum, stop it, that's delicious. Ah! See how the herbs have really cemented themselves onto the fish? Let me have a little taste. It's amazing, it's citrusy. You've got a little bit of bitterness from that Campari. Gorgeous. Just with this, you cut, you flick your knife so as that it falls over, and then you cut the bottom off of the skin, and then you get a perfect, beautiful slice, and then you just stack them, layer them, about a centimeter apart in nice straight lines. We're gonna get a circle, just Slide your knife right under the fish and just gently roll your knife back and lay it on, just like that. And there you have, it's like a piece of art, isn't that? Come on, it looks beautiful and let me tell you, it tastes even better. Thanks for watching and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually wanna see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.